Tracy, Greg? Thank you, sir. Radiation for just five days. That is actually a reality for some patients with breast cancer. And here to explain how that's possible is board certified general surgeon, Dr. Garrett Peel. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. All right. Sounds a whole lot better than what most cancer oh, patients yeah. have to endure with radiation, chemotherapy, the whole bit, right? You bet. Breast cancer is a tough thing and, and you know, we have gotten good. So at, much better than many other cancers. Exactly. Right and we've gotten good at, at recognizing an early breast cancer sure. by mammography. Mammography is so important. If you're 40 years or over, you need a mammogram every year. If you have family history, you need a mammogram earlier. So talk to your primary care doctor, internal medicine doctor, um, or call a surgeon and we'll, yeah. we'll be able to help you. But if we find a early breast cancer, okay, we can treat this with what we call breast conservation therapy. We don't have to take the whole breast off anymore. We basically remove the breast cancer, mm -hmm. check the lymph node, and then do treatment afterwards. And that treatment usually consists of radiation therapy and chemotherapy. We've gotten really good at identifying radiation and shortening the time that it takes to treat breast cancer afterwards. And a lot of my patients say, Dr. Pill, why do I need radiation? Mm -hmm. Radiation prevents recurrence in right. the breast. Mm -hmm. And if we can save your breast, then we can give you radiation and that ultimately prevents, hopefully, a recurrence of that breast cancer in the breast. Mm -hmm. Now, if we just did a mastectomy, you don't need radiation. Mm -hmm. So think of it like that. The new innovative treatment is what we call partial breast radiation. Yeah. And radiation is delivered through a catheter that is placed in the breast after your surgery, after we make sure that the margins are negative and the lymph node has no spread. We are able to put this in the breast under ultrasound guidance, under local, and then essentially it is inserted into where we took the breast cancer out. And then the radiation oncologist delivers radiation through little seeds wow. through this, these catheters. And the great thing about this is that five days, not eight, nine weeks every day. That is unbelievable. It is unbelievable, and it sounds like such a better option. But if, for some women, wouldn't they just say, look, it's pinpointing, it's just that area, I want to play it safe and just do the whole shebang. I mean, do they, some patients but say that? Some do, mm -hmm. but when we explain to them the data show that it's okay to just basically treat the no, breast treat from the area. inside yeah. out. The radiation is getting to the whole breast, mm -hmm. but what we're doing is we're basically saving complications, skin um, irritation, other basically radiation complications as we call them with daily treatments every day for eight or nine weeks rather than just this treatment for mm -hmm. five days. Um, the data is exactly the same with um, essentially uh, the outcomes, the radiation for six to eight weeks mm -hmm. or partial breast radiation uh, for five days. Yeah. And, and we call it the five-day program at Previty Clinic and we are a, a center of excellence for placing these catheters. Yeah. But again, um, the radiation therapy for early stage breast cancer, we need to make sure the margins are negative. Uh, we use a multi-lumen uh, catheter. This is under ultrasound guidance, mm -hmm. under local anesthetic, and only just five days of radiation with amazing. the same That's results yeah. with external beam radiation for the right patient. That's always important. That was so. my next question. Obviously, um, early detection uh, would probably be a better candidate, a, a, a patient with early detection. As it progresses, is this still possible? A stage one breast cancer or even a stage two breast cancer our candidates, if the lymph node is positive, we can't do partial breast radiation. Mm -hmm. That patient will need chemotherapy first. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. And uh, if viewers want more information, I guess call Previty Clinic? Go to PrevityClinic.com mm -hmm. and lots of links and uh, we have a, a our Sandy Fertitta uh, Modern Breast Cancer Institute provides a multidisciplinary approach to breast cancer treatment. Mm -hmm. I, I can only imagine. I, I'm just I'm saying. blown away. Yeah, yeah because, because the, that's what they always exactly. you know at first having to, or being able to save the breast. Sure. Something huge for these patients and then on top of that just having the five days it's got to be. I mean I'm just amazed at the the advances mm -hmm. in research and and is especially with breast cancer because it seems like we're so much further along right with that and we can fight breast cancer and women can survive it and right. never have to battle it again in their life and because of mammography because of screening mammography we're basically saving lives mm -hmm. by finding breast cancers in younger women women your age who are teachers and right. newscasters and doctors and dentists who have to get back to their families and to their life and this approach is one way to do yeah, so. Not only like great that. physically, but mentally as well, I would oh, imagine. Absolutely. It's got to just make a huge difference. Absolutely. We try get to your mammograms, women. Yeah. Get your mammograms. Get your mammograms. For sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks so much.
And coming up, a national robotics competition wrapping up this morning in China, which being credited with stealing the show. 